Good day, Del Campo. Today we are going to talk with staff about how to create a group, how to schedule that group into your flex time, your decal time, how to remove those students if they shouldn't be there, how to lock out stuff, all that sort of thing, and then of course homeroom responsibilities. What should you do the first day of homeroom? So again, here's the website, and what we're going to do is go ahead and go to FlexiSketch. I'm going to log in. And of course, you see mine has a billion people. That's because I'm an admin. So first thing I'm going to do is I want to go to my lists, and I'm going to create a group list. So I go down to group list. And I go down here to add. And you should make sure you have your name. And I'm going to call it period to biology. And I can go ahead and just start searching for students in my class. I have to type their name. I'm spelling Jonathan wrong. Hmm. There it is. I'm going to select him, then event, there we go, and I keep adding these people until I want to, and that's going to create a list here of people in my group. So now I can search up here for my list, it's item, I have a couple, I'm going to just realize I don't have period two here, so I'm going to type that, period now I'm going to save that. And it looks like I have to search my name again. Alright, so now if I want to edit those, let's say it's a different week and there's a couple more people that I need to add to requests, I can just add those or I can remove them by clicking a box here or adding this person here, that sort of thing, and just save it. So. I can make the adjustment. If you're doing priority period and you're trying to see, all right, I'm going to schedule you guys to be with me this week because you have C's, D's, and F's, that group isn't going to change that much and you can just add or remove from week to week. All right, so now if I want to schedule them, I go to this little, looks like a calendar, I'm going to schedule them and I just pick the day of the week. Now, one thing that I've noticed is your name might not show up if you are full. So item is missing right now because that's already full. So if I go to Friday, I can go and I'm already full. So I'm not going to see it, but I would just schedule that. So I am going to go ahead and schedule it with DeWidzik. I'll remove it later. And then I can make a teacher request that those two students are coming. They'll be locked in already. So I'm going to save that. All right, and those two members have been added. So if I go and look at the master schedule, I'm going to go to lists, master schedule. You guys should be able to see this. I can type over here on Friday, down at the bottom, Friday, and I can type Dewitzik. And these are all the students that have been scheduled into there. And you see I have Jonathan, which is a teacher request, and he's got a little check mark. And I have where did Yvette go? Oh, right up there. She's got a little check mark. And if I want to be polite, I could click on this little email here and send them an email that says they their schedule has been updated. All right now, what I'm going to do since they are not really going to go there. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And I'm going to put them somewhere else. I'm going to put them in a general study hall. And I'll talk to these two students a little bit later to make sure they are where they should, should be. And if you notice that disappeared, and 
I'm going to go to Wahlberg General Study Hall. And I removed that teacher request. So that brings me to another point. If you're trying to schedule your priority students or just schedule a group that you want to see for any particular day, when you go to your planning, you go to plan, it's taken just a second. Oh, this is me. I want to make sure I set this number up here equal to the number I'm reserving if you don't want to see any other students in there. Right? Let's say it is Monday afternoon, everybody's scheduled, and you want to see who signed up for your class. So what I can do is go take a look at the master schedule. If I go to lists, I go to master schedule. And let's say I am Mr. Menio right now. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Friday, Menio. And let's say I know that Joseph Seeger, he shouldn't be in there because he doesn't have biology at all. I just know this. I've talked to the kid before. I can click here and I can do that where I remove him. So. If there are people that aren't supposed to be in there, you can remove them. And what I recommend that you do is don't just put them some random place. Put them in a general study area like the library or uh, Mr. Del Russo has a, a general study area. You can put them in there. Hopefully, maybe you get a chance to talk to the student, put them in a class that they're not doing too well in. But again, what should be happening as we educate our, our students is... We're going to train them to pick classes that are appropriate so that you don't have to do that. Let's take a look at our master schedule. You look up here at the top, we have the different colors recommending different types of activities. So we should be teaching our students to look at this. Now again, if you get somebody that shows up into your decal time and they would be better served somewhere else, or even if they just show up to your class because they're in one of your classes and they have some questions, you can reschedule them for a different decal time anytime during the week. So everybody has the ability to reschedule students anytime, any place. Let's take a look at this. All right, so we talked about creating groups, scheduling a group, removing students from your decal time, and now homeroom responsibility. Remember on Mondays, students are going to register for their classes for homeroom. Give them the first 15 minutes to do that or so. Then what I recommend you do is go to your main dashboard here, go to schedule, and take a look at who you have, and make sure you don't have anybody that is blank. They should have everything filled in. Don't ask them. I've learned that asking them if they've done it doesn't work. They tell you yes, and it's really not done. So you have to go through and do that. The thing to do again is either talk to them and ask them, what classes they need to work on, or schedule them for a general study hall, or look at their grades on Pulse and schedule them in some appropriate classes that would help them out. All right, I hope that's been helpful. Again, please feel free to write me any questions. I have Monday morning first period, or I have first period prep, so I may be a day behind, but I will definitely get to you. Appreciate all the help. Thank you very much, and please be patient with me and the students. Thank you.